Aloha, Sherry Minor McNamara here, President and CEO of the Chamber of Commerce Hawaii. The Chamber represents more than 2,000 members statewide from different industries and different size businesses. 80% of our membership is small businesses. In this COVID-19 times, we are all feeling helpless and isolated. But we want you to know the Chamber is here for you and want to support you in any way we can. We've all experienced the adverse effects of COVID-19 so far, and we will probably continue to do so in the near term as well as the long term. But we are in this together, and so we must stay vigilant against the virus, but confident in commerce. COVID-19 is not immune to certain sectors. In fact, it's impacting all sectors. We've heard from many businesses across the islands that many of them are on the edge of permanently shutting down or have had to cut jobs, positions, hours. For businesses, this is years or decades of sacrifice and hard work down the drain. As the economic engine of our state, we must do what we can to mitigate the consequences and impact on small businesses. The Chamber is fervently working on proposals on behalf of Hawaii businesses by putting together a package of legislative issues and to provide substantial relief. We've also rolled out a microsite for Hawaii businesses that includes a Q&A feature as there are so many unknowns out there, and if we can help you answer your pressing questions, we want to do that. We are also working with the educational community, connecting businesses with online work-based learning opportunities so that our students can continue to learn from home. We are working with partner organizations here and nationally, sharing information and best practices. We are serving as a convener by connecting businesses, nonprofits, educational stakeholders, and government. Businesses are also stepping up and acting to fill the gap for other small businesses, offering services and help to businesses of those in need. Businesses are also creating programs to donate meals to Kapuna, so mass for first responders and transition their manufacturing to produce hand sanitizers and other more immediate needs. But no patchwork of private solutions is a substitute for decisive government action to help businesses. And that is why, as part of the legislative proposals, we are exploring payroll subsidies to keep workers employed, deferral for GET and other taxes and government fees, forgiveness of rentals and mortgage payments, expansion of low or no interest loans. SBA loans are a good start. However, we need more. We know that other businesses are wary of taking on more debt, but we also encourage them to apply for the SBA loans because SBA will work with them on terms. For example, the federal stimulus package includes provisions to forgive loans if companies keep employees on payroll. As a nation, as a state, we are traversing through unprecedented and uncertain times. But by working together, we can and we will rebuild a stronger and more resilient economy. So let's continue to work together and overcome and defeat this virus.